this bit in my head that I made a classic mistake of doing where I I'm going to bed last night and I start thinking about performing tonight which is the next day and um, and I'm thinking about I don't know this whimsical thought comes up about this cat in an office and go through the story and I build it up and I build it up and I build it up and when you're laying in bed uh, before you perform like that um, you walk through the entire scenario in your head and it's so real the crowd is laughing and they're into it and you can really really deceive yourself um, and it becomes so difficult because you you wake up it's like waking up from a dream and feeling guilty when you did something in the dream. Like, obviously, you didn't... You know, you didn't really do anything. That's the way it is, kind of building a joke like that and coming in and out of sleep in a dream is that now I can't shake it. And I am almost willed to do it. And I know what will happen in my case because I don't like to go on with... Um, I don't like to go on with jokes that I, that I repeat. I, I like to just ad lib things and I know what will happen. I'll get up there and the only thing that I'll be able to think of will be that goddamn cat do it, cat you mad at me. It's like a Sandusky shower in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is that uncomfortable? For all of you. Come on in here. Come in. No, it'll be fine. I'm just gonna, gonna show you some things. <laughs> it's like somebody just got slapped when I was a kid at the dinner table. That's what it feels like right now. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, I lost a hundred pounds recently. That's the truth. Yeah. I did. Thanks. Thanks very much. That's kind of you. I lost a hundred pounds, and people are always asking me. Um, how, how do you stay motivated to work out? People ask me that a lot. Now, stop the joke for a second there, and let me tell you something about when you're a comic. A lot of times at night, before you're performing, you're laying in bed, maybe the day before, and you start working through some kind of bit or story that you think is funny, and you, right? And you go in and out of a dream, and people are laughing, and they're cheering, and they're having a blasty blast, right? That's the <laughs> fucking worst thing you can do as a comic, okay? because it's never gonna work. Okay, back into the joke. Ready? <laughs> so people are always asking me, how do you get motivated to work out? There was, I was on the treadmill the other day at the gym and a tiny midget came up to me and I picked him up, little guy, hey little guy. I picked him up, why are you kicking? And uh, I put him back down and he said, how do you stay motivated? And I said, here's what I do. I'm gonna wake up in so here's what I do. I, I, I picture in my head, follow me here, it's an urban setting, it's a small office, and there's a desk, and it's Monday morning, and it's early, and there is a kitten, a tiny kitten, very cute, <laughs> sitting behind the desk, and he has his two little feet up on the crisscrossed on the desk, and he has a big report on the desk, and it's... It's a big one. <laughs> you with me, Graham? Right. And uh, this is an intense report. And he just cannot fucking get motivated to do the report. He just, I don't know, his coffee place was closed and uh, having a difficult time. And so he looks up on the wall and there's a calendar. And, and in the picture on the calendar is me. And I'm completely naked. And I'm on, thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm on a beach, and I'm glistening, and my perfect Hispanic skin is shining. Thank you. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. And he leans up, and he works really fucking hard on this report. He dots every I, and he crosses every T, and he puts a new paper clip on it, and he puts it in a new folder, and he strides purposefully down the hall to his boss's office, and he kicks the fucking door open, 
which sounds badass, but if you're a cat, like your feet are padded. So when you kick a door, it's not as badass, you know, it's like, that's all it does. And he slams the report down, he goes, I'm, I'm fucking going home early, Steve. So he walks out and he goes home to his wife, who's a ground dog. And, uh, they have a delicate relationship, like they're close to the outside world because they can't connect, really, because this is an interspecies relationship. But their love brings them together, and he makes passionate love to his groundhog wife. And, and even as the seed leaves his tiny cat's penis, he already knows she's going to be impregnated. It's that beautiful. Are you with me? <laughs> And, uh, and he finishes and he goes out on the porch and his wife brings him a tiny little like a tea with a mint, little julepy things in there. And he looks into the sunset and he says, Kalaputra Santana, Kalasa, Jalamukutanatsa, Zunamakantashi. Which means, you is kind, you is special, you is important. And that's what I think of. That's why I keep working out. Thanks. Have a good night.